Good afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of Shooting Straight. I am, as always, Voice of the Forge, the most vocal of the uh, group of gamers that call themselves Forgotten Forge. And they run uh, together as a collective of the Forgotten Forge Games Project. Uh, we have recently uh, revamped our Patreon page and have now started getting patrons. So if you would like to take a look at the various websites where we are active, and if you'd like to see what we do, then please stop by and have a look at our Patreon page, our Vidme page, we are on YouTube and on Dailymotion, and soon, uh, with the arrival of a new PC, we will also start to be streaming things on Twitch. Like I say, I am Voice of the Forge, and I tend to do the most amount of speaking. And any of you that have been paying attention in the last few weeks will notice that the Shooting Straight videos have become much more sporadic and infrequent. This is due to a number of factors, not least of which is the fact that I am now a full-time university student. Yes, I have gone back in time. I am a mature student and I am currently studying an LLB in law. So this is taking up a lot of my free time because there is an awful lot of research and reading that I have to do for my course. This, obviously, impacts on both my ability to stream, ability to spend time in games, and, of course, to actually record video. Now, again, if those of you who have been keeping up with the Shooting Straight series know that I do not script these um, conversations, uh, whether it's a conversation I'm having with myself or with anybody else that decides to get in contact with me either through the comments section or through Twitch below, uh, Twitch, the comment section uh, on Twitch as Voice of the Forge or on YouTube, uh, on Twitter or anywhere else. Now, uh, the reason why um, things have also been sporadic is the fact that I've found myself with not a great deal to say. Usually most of what I want to say has been said by somebody else, and because my time has been limited I have deferred uh, that opportunity to somebody else uh, purely because I didn't feel that it was worth taking the time out, as it were, to actually call out some of the... Um, excesses of things that were going on. However, there have been a couple of worrying things uh, just recently that I'll discuss. And this is going to be a short episode. I'm not going to go into a full 20 minutes or half an hour uh, shooting straight like I normally do. Uh, this is more of a case of uh, I'm still here. I'm still doing the channel. I'm still doing the show. And uh, to let you know the reasons why um, my tone may change uh, because I am learning a new way of having to argue and debate. So the tone may change, uh, the content won't, but the way in which I present things uh, may come across as seemingly a little different from the past and may evolve over the next couple of years. Uh, and this will be because I am being trained in a more professional way uh, to actually go out and uh, deliver information as well as collect it. So uh, the things that I want to talk about today uh, are uh, things that don't affect me directly, being that I live in the UK. Uh, these are th trends that I am seeing of a more worrying nature uh, in the US, and they do involve Hillary and Donald Trump. And the reason I'm talking about this is because, as part of a tournament uh, position, uh, I was asked to... Um, argue a position which not everyone will agree with and it was cited at the time that regardless of how you feel uh, this was uh, training uh, to argue a point that you think may be hopeless or that you may not necessarily agree with and I had to speak for at least two minutes on why Donald Trump was unquestionably the better of the two candidates running in the main two candidates because there is a third candidate um, he is he is about there somewhere uh, but the main two candidates for the presidential election. And there is an awful lot of negative things about Donald Trump, uh, but they are nebulous. They don't seem to have a lot of basis in reality. They are more feels, they are more things that people think, and they can't point to actual evidences in the same way that they can about 
Hillary and the various scandals with which she has had uh, contact with over the years as a politician uh, and before she was a politician as well. So I've just taken this time out just to say that whilst we have someone who is known for being quite uh, obnoxious in many ways for saying things which we can't condone no matter how many how, how we go about it there are things which we c cannot turn around and say that um, are they, they shouldn't conceivably be used in polite society that's the easiest way i can put it and because of that, we have uh, a huge amount of media attention on what somebody has said sometimes many, many, many years ago. And I dare say if people had recordings of me from 15, 20 years ago, I would be saying things then which I may not necessarily agree with now because I've changed. I've grown up. Uh, <laughs> I've got a different set of values uh, than, than, than I had then. Uh, and some of it may may be from the for, for, from that kind of era, uh, but uh, likewise, if you will then look at the activities that people have undertaken, uh, and the fact that they are still getting those activities called into question in different ways, uh, then you have a course of conduct which differs from just words. Now anyone can turn around and, and, and give vile commentary uh, at any point of their life, but for someone to be so deeply enmeshed in scandal, cover-up and everything else, to the point where you can actually look at what's been said and go, hang on a minute, that doesn't quite fly, and then when you look at what's being said, all you have are more answer, more questions than answers, and the more answers you get, the more questions you have. Then you have to start looking at the characteristics of the two people involved in the election. Now, as I have said, I do not have a dog in this fight. This is something which will only affect me somewhat peripherally, uh, as it will change treaty negotiations and... Uh, country level commitments and it will have an impact on our parliamentary debate but it won't have a direct impact because he isn't that they are vying for our country's leadership they're they're, they're they're somebody else's and treaty concerns aside when we actually look at many of the so-called revelations and uh, the disparaging remarks and everything else that's held against Donald Trump, generally speaking, they tend to be things which are uh, quite simply inane. When we look at Hillary Rodham Clinton, we find that there are questions, if not about her, per, her, per, her personal um, eff efficacy, in roles, uh, they are about her personality and the fact that she tends to wind people up the wrong way, even from a quite young age. Uh, and of course I'm talking about Zeifman and the fact that he's obviously had an axe to grind about her for some while and he's not the most reliable witness, but even then he didn't like her going back to when she was 27. Uh, and for someone to sort of like have this kind of visceral uh, kind of reaction to someone even this many years later does make you wonder what she did to make him dislike her so and then of course you've got remember you've got to remember things like the whitewater scandal which was a property development scandal that she was attached to and all sorts of other bits and pieces which have called her character into question, not, late, not the latest of which is the Podesta emails and the whole Benghazi situation with her private server and the fact that she committed um, offences by, uh, uh, by deleting emails which should have been kept and turn around and claim ignorance of the law is, in my mind, and in many constituents is not a defense of a criminal act if you do not know what the law is tough luck it's the law is the law there is strict liability in certain cases and it doesn't matter if you didn't know you've done it so as i've said this is just going to be a quick 
uh, for the quick thing just to get my uh, ear back in as it were uh, so if you uh, like what we're doing here with regards to shooting straight uh, the Warcraft plays or any of the new games that we will be playing in the coming months uh, then please uh, like and subscribe uh, follow us on patreon on vidme or daily motion or on Twitter uh, and to get more information about the Forgotten Forge games project then please feel free to contact me I am as always Voice of the Forge and thank you for listening.